Hi, this is Glenda. Um, I'm not sure how much use this video is actually going to be unless you've got a um, digital cutter. But if you have, um, I get a bit obsessive about sort of really wanting a product and um, you know some dyes you think it just or, or craft products in general you think oh this is going to make my crafting better and you just really want it because it's different enough that you haven't got it and anyway heartfelt creations have a dye that does um, a little puffy flower like this and I've really really been wanting it and in Australia it's nearly forty dollars to get it um, which is very expensive and like most of these things I think I'd use it for a really short time and then stop um, but I love to have whole collections I don't like there to be gaps in my collections which is obsessive and silly and I need to stop but I have a digital cutter I've got a silhouette and I don't use it anywhere near enough whenever I do use it I'm really happy I like the results it's not hard to use and it's just sitting there connected to my computer already I don't have to get anything out but I still have to think about using it, it it's very naughty so anyway I thought well I can't afford this die and I really want it so I'll see if the silhouette store has anything similar and what they have is this one by Laurie Whitlock and I thought, okay, it's similar. Their um, sample that comes with that is this in different sizes, layered up, and you end up with you know, layers of that. Whereas the heartfelt one is designed to be bent over and held together. Um, so anyway, I, I bought that one and thought I'll play with it because, I mean, a silhouette file is a dollar compared to, as I say, nearly 40. Um, you can use it as many times as you like, well you can with a die too, but of course you can resize it and you can, well I guess that's the main difference, you can resize it. So anyway I fiddled with it a bit, tried taking out alternate spikes um, to try and get more of the look, but what I find is it's fairly wide. Um, it goes narrow here and it opens out wide and the Heartfelt Creation ones has, um, well this is the shape of it, it, it has a bump and is narrow here and narrow at the middle. So it wasn't quite what I wanted, um, but I did play with it a bit. I, I'm pretty sure that's that one as well. So it's it's close, um, but not quite the same. And these are that as well. So I just fiddled with it a bit and played around. Um, and that's if you leave the petals open, that's of course smaller. Um, yes, if you leave one of one of the layer flat and then fold the others over, that was done with that. So as I say, we're pretty similar. Um, but I really wanted to get the same look. So what I did is I got the image of the heartfelt one and used the software that comes with the silhouette to trace it. And it was really easy. It was a lovely, simple shape to do. And the company is not going to be happy if people do that and I can't give away the file because obviously you know it's their design but own home use this is what I did I'm trying to use my craft tools that I've already got so the idea is you simply layer your prongs over like that and then you put a brad in the middle. Um, and I ummed and ahmed back and forth to have the brad on that side or that side and I think I ended up I liked that side better because you end up with sort of a bit of a funny layer um, it's sort of twisted a bit um, but you know there's a bigger version of the silhouette cut file um, but yeah these I ended up with the the single side showing and that's you know pretty close to the heartfelt one so I can't have the die um, and I think I've just about got these flowers out of my system for now so I was probably right that I wouldn't have kept using it I mean I'll get it out again but yeah we have to rationalize some of our purchases I think um, or I do a you know limited budget so yeah 
it's just a if you've got it, see if you can find another way of doing something. And um, as I say, the file itself traced really easily. There was uh, you just highlight it, press trace, and it did it. There was no fiddling with it, tidying it up, or anything like that. Uh, except it does do a double line, and I had to remove the outside or the inside line. I think I removed. So, as I say, I don't know if that's remotely any use to anybody, but this is what I've been doing. Um, market day tomorrow, and yep, nearly Christmas. So, um, if I don't make another video before Christmas, happy Christmas. And um, yeah, the other thing I've done was making um, myself use some of these dies that I've bought, and uh, so I've used three times there. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching.